What's going on, boils and ghouls? It's your pal JT of the Dead. Back for a video. It's been a few weeks uh, since I've uh, done my zombie video, showing my zombie DVDs, and I plan on showing the rest of my my shit uh, later on, like my slashers and stuff like that. Um, sitting here at the house, uh, snowed in. We got a. As you can see out there, we got a little blizzard action going on. So figured you know season to be doing videos plus I have a stack of uh, uh, movies VHS DVD horror non horror box sets uh, stuff to show you got quite a bit of stuff picked up for the past few weeks um, and also have some toys to show you guys I haven't really shown uh, much of my action figures or toys or whatnot but these are some of the new stuff that I got um, so I figured I'd show those off and I will show them all my uh, my toys and whatnot and some video someday. I got some crazy hair going on today because you know I've been laying around haven't done anything. Anyways, let's get into this video. Have the De Debbie Stevens figure. Um, that's a mouthful. But um, but uh, this is the figure from Not Running on Street Four, Dream Master. Uh, this is. A cockroach death of Debbie. This is one of my favorite deaths of a Nightmare on Elm Street film. And she uh, is lifting weights, and her arm starts falling off and breaking. She turns into a giant cockroach, and uh, Freddy squishes her um, because she's afraid of bugs, of course. So, you know, in turn, she dies of a bug's death. But this is put out by Cinema Fear. This is a really nice figure. There's also a Jason from 3 and a Freddy from Part 4, the Dr. Freddy in this series. This is one of my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and I uh, just had to have this figure. But uh, my mom actually got this for me um, for, for Christmas. We get our Christmas together already because she lives kind of far away, and I don't get to see her that often. But this comes with some uh, posable Debbie arms and some Roach arms and a Roach motel. And to get the ever-lovely... Debbie there in the black spandex pants that we all love from the movie. And it has a base of the goo, like the yellow goo stuff that she falls into um, in the movie. So that's a really cool figure. This is going up on the wall with my other horror figures. Got Also got this Michael Myers here. Camera's a little shaky. This is a plushy Myers from... Uh, H, uh, Rob Zombie's H2. Got the, you know, you can go crazy hair or... If you're feeling sophisticated, you know, you can go slick down church going Michael. Um, this is how he wears his hair in church on Sundays. But this is the bloodied up face, and he's got some giant hands with a knife and uh, Frankenstein slash kiss boots on. So, uh, this is really cool. I like this a lot. Another gift from my mom, actually. I'm uh, 24 years old and still get toys for Christmas, you know. <laughs> but, um... And this was my favorite that she got me. Uh, this is a Leatherface figure. I think this is put out by Mezco, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a very detailed figure. It has actual cloth clothing and a giant chainsaw. And it looks very much like Gunnar Hansen Leatherface from uh, the original. So they did a really good job on this figure. I really like this. Uh, I was going to leave it in this package, but I was like, man, this is too nice. To... The package didn't really do it justice. So this is, you know, he's out free and going on my shelf now. So. That was really cool to get all those. But that's all the toys I have, so let's get on to the VHS DVDs. I only got two VHS to show here. And I uh, get my wife's stuff out of the way so I can get some room to talk here. And the two VHS that I picked up is Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, uh, which I'm trying to get my Godzilla uh, collection off, off the ground and going, you know, so this is a good way to start for a buck twenty-five. You know, this versus the sea monster with really cool cover art, and I do believe I've, I have uh, seen this one when I was a child, but um, if, I, I have to rewatch. I'm not really sure. But the next one I picked up was Godzilla 1985, and this one's not on DVD, so you know, therefore VHS is the alternative. I prefer to get stuff on DVD if it's there, but I love VHS also and cover art. Um, I don't just buy anything on VHS. That's something I need to clear up because a lot of people are like, why do you buy VHS? It's stupid. You know, they don't make them anymore, blah, 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 the quality. No, not, it's not about the quality. It's about watching the film. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's that's what it's really about because a lot of these movies you can't get on DVD. So, you know, I take it any way I can get it. But Godzilla 85, can't wait to watch those. 
And on to the DVD box sets. Do the box sets here first. Got the uh, first season of Supernatural. This is on a Black Friday pickup that my wife got. And I didn't. I didn't go out uh, in the crowds. You know, I've worked uh, Black Fridays for the past like five years in retail, and I just wasn't about to deal with the crowd because I know how it gets. But anyways, got Supernatural season one. Started watching this. It's a pretty decent show if you're a horror fan. It's got horror elements in there. Uh, not too bad. I don't really. I'm not much on these guys as actors. I don't think they're very good actors. But and I didn't like either of them in the remakes, uh, Friday the 13th or My Bloody Valentine. So, but show's kind of cool. Got a cool soundtrack. Very cool soundtrack. And uh, next up here we have Tales from the Crypt, season six and season seven. And this concludes my Tales from the Crypt collection. So happy to get these. Um, I haven't started watching these. I opened this one, but I haven't opened this one. But I got some days off work coming pretty soon, so I got a feeling I'll be Tales from the Crypt in that up. So can't wait to check those out. Next up here we have Foot Fist Way, Danny McBride's first film. Uh, pretty funny. If you're a fan of Danny McBride's movies, then I, I recommend checking this out. The first half of the movie, in my opinion, was a lot, a lot funnier than the second half. So, uh, and it's also directed by Jody Hill. I think he done some of the other movies. Um, but this is this was really funny. You know, Danny McBride kung fu movie. Check it out. It's funny. It's got you still got the sticker there. I got it from the pawn shop. They had a Christmas special going on. Five uh, five movies for ten bucks. So I went in there and racked up. Picked up Invasion USA, hands down my favorite Chuck Norris film ever. Look at that cover art, he's taking out uh, hundreds of terrorists with two Uzis. Can't beat that. You got Richard Lynch in here, and I think his name's Richard Lynch, the old guy. But you got Chuck Norris and Uzis and Swamp. I mean, he used to have this on VHS when I was a kid and wore my tape out all of this movie. So I was happy to find that one. Next up here, we're getting into the the horror uh, DVDs that I've picked up. This one's called Bug from 1975. And I, had, I didn't know anything about this movie. I picked it up and I was like, this looks cool for $1.49. So, it looks cool. I haven't got to check it out. It's one of the eco-terror movies, I think is what they call them. Killer bugs, killer animals, you know. Probably go good with uh, the other killer animal movies in the 70s like tarantulas, uh, ants. Uh, Day of the Animals, I think was another one. Grizzly, just there's a slew of of uh, animal attacks films from that era. Uh, Kingdom of Spiders, which may have came out in the 70s, I think, with William Shatner, awesome film. So I'm a big fan of those. So I, I think I like Bug. Uh, anything small terror animal attacks movies, I'm all about that. Next up here we have Children of the Corn uh, Four. Just four. Yeah, four. Um, I think this is four, yeah. Can't really count Roman numerals that well. <laughs> uh, but I haven't seen this one uh, since I was a child, since it first came out. Well, I probably wasn't a child, but when it first came out, no, I did see it uh, sometime in the 90s, mid-90s, I think, or early 90s, mid-90s, when I was a bit younger. But Children of the Corn, four. We have Karen Black here. That's all I can remember about this movie. I remember the trailer on a, on another movie that I had had this trailer, and it, it uh, I'd always be like, wow, that looks pretty terrifying. But this movie's not not really that uh, scary, you know. It's Children of the Corn, but it's still fun. I, I like pretty much all the Children of the Corn movies until the later ones. Um, I think five. I like five. I think it was the last one that I, I actually watched in the series. But I'm gonna try to get all the Children of the Corn films. I have all of them. I need the third one right now. So. But then I'll have them all to four. And uh, next up here we have Prom Night and Ghoulies uh, Four. Yeah, I guess that is four. We got four and four. But we have Ghoulies Four, which is the reason I bought this because I already had Prom Night. Um, which my cover doesn't have Jamie Lee Curtis on it, I don't think. So that's kind of cool. You know, I always like that cover art too. But Ghoulies Four is where it's at. This is Ultimate Cheese. This is on par with Troll Two, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't seen this one since it first came out either, so I'm going to have to refresh myself on on the uh, Ghoulies 4, and this is put out by EcoBridge, which sounds like a cheapo company, which so the transfer is probably going to be cheapo, but that's okay with me, and uh, I know it's got this chick here from, 